Good afternoon, you two pie smokers. Evening, actually, 5 o'clock. And it's 33 degrees in New York, cold and windy. <clears throat> anyway, interesting thing I thought I'd come on here and mention on another drive video. Drive talking. And, um... I haven't been smoking Captain Black Royal for quite some time. I'd say it's almost two months. I've been smoking a lot of Virginia. I've been hooked on Orwick, uh, Golden Slice. And, um... Uh, I've been hooked on another one, um... A rum, a rum flavored tobacco. Uh, John, uh, John Marr, I think the name of it is. Anyway, so today I decided hmm, I haven't had Captain Black Royal in a while. Let me have some of that. And you know, and this is why I'm mentioning this. I think what happens is when you don't have a certain tobacco that you, I mean Captain Black Royal I would say is probably one of my favorite tobaccos, you get a new appreciation when you haven't smoked it for a while and you go back to it, it's like you're tasting it again for the first time if that makes sense. Um, so it's sort of changing my opinion about favorite tobaccos because I think if you smoke the same tobacco all the time, I think you miss out on certain flavors start to become muted because you're so used to it. I guess you, we can equate it to having the same steak dinner every night. After a while, you get tired of steak, and you, and you wouldn't appreciate the taste of it. Where if you had chicken one night, and uh, fish the next night, and, you know, a variation of diet. Uh, pasta another night, and then you have a steak once in a while, it, you appreciate it. If, and I think the same thing happens with tobacco. So, and it it really hit home today when I took out this Captain Black Royal and I had a bowl, which I haven't had in at least two months, maybe longer. So now I bet I'll smoke this for a few days. I bet you I'll go back to Orlick Golden Slice and that'll be like, wow. Again, because you, you give your, your taste buds a chance to experience another uh, flavors that I think get lost in the constant repetition of smoking it all the time. So I guess the moral of the story is you need that variation in order to appreciate the tobacco that you, even the ones you consider your favorite. I'd be interested to hear if any of you experienced the same thing. I'd love to hear from somebody like Ben, the artful codger that smokes a lot of velvet. If he took a hiatus from smoking that for a couple of weeks and then went back to it, if he'll, he would appreciate it maybe better than he does already. Maybe he does that anyway as a regular thing. I don't know. But I don't think I've ever heard anybody else mention this. And that's why I figured I'd come on and mention it myself. So it's definitely something I'm going to pay closer attention to. And uh, report back. But... Uh, so try it. If you haven't smoked, uh, if you've been smoking something on a regular basis, put it aside, go back to one of your older favorites, and see if you develop a new appreciation for it. 
I think you need to put in tobacco into a rotation type of thing, just as you do with pipes. To wake up your taste buds that get, I think, complacent and maybe muted from smoking the same thing all the time. Anyway, I catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.